Hello dear manifestors, how are you doing? Thank you for joining for this podcast today. It's going to be a very important and game changer one if you take the required action steps. The topic is power of letting go. First of all, the point might be arising in your mind. Why should we even let go? I would like to start this podcast with a small story of Shankaracharya. Once Shankaracharya was walking on the road along with his disciples. So disciples asked a question. Shankaracharya, are we bound to the thoughts and mind? Or thoughts and mind are bound to us? Then Shankaracharya, before explaining, he saw a man. Uh, he ta- The man pulling the buffalo with a rope and moving forward. So buffalo was struggling and wanted to stay still. But it, as the man was pulling, the buffalo was moving along with the man. So Shankaracharya went with his disciples, surrounded with the buffalo, around the buffalo and asked the disciples, is buffalo bound to the man or man is bound to the buffalo? The disciple says, buffalo is bound to the man. So Shankaracharya took a blade out of his bag and cut the rope. As soon as the rope was cut, the buffalo was running away and the man was running behind the buffalo to hold it back. Now Shankaracharya asked, who is bound to whom? Man is bound to buffalo or buffalo is bound to man? Now this time the answer was, man is bound to buffalo. So what changed? It's all the perspective change. Who is bound to whom? Are we bound to our mind or is our mind bound to us? Sometimes we think, Array, we are out of control, mind keeps thinking, so many thoughts, so many emotions, so many feelings. I'm not able to let go of things. But instead of let go, we are holding to it. As the buffalo rope was cut off and buffalo run away, similarly, when you disconnect the connection of your emotion or thought and let go, the mind is set up, set free. You are also set free. Currently, you are bound to the mind. Mind is not bound to you. So, the art of letting go is a process to let go of all unwanted stuff, which is holding you back from progressing. I keep saying we are a being of energy. We are like a container of energy uh, with real, limited real estate space property as of now. And as the space is limited, kind of limited, in this space, if you keep holding the low vibratory thoughts, emotions, feelings like anger, hate, frustration, sadness, pride, guilt, shame, too much responsibility, stress, anxiety, fears, all these emotions are occupying in your energy space because of which the container is already full. And when the container is already full, how much of a new opportunity energy wants to enter in your life or new abundance energy wants to enter into your life? It will say, oh, container is already full. So it will start overflowing and it doesn't have space to enter in your energy space itself. And the required opportunity shift won't happen in your life. And the result outcome you won't get. So in order for you to achieve your goals faster, in order to get the relationship transformation, in order to get health financial transformation, you have to empty up some of your energy space, some of your emotional space, so that when the new abundance energy is required, you welcome that through whatever attraction process you do. The new abundance energy has the space to occupy within your energy space and then manifest that kind of results. So letting go is a release of pain, worry or doubt about an action, person, or outcome. The strange thing, strange thing about letting go is that sometimes even when we are hurting and we are consciously aware of it, we'll avoid letting go because it requires an acknowledgement and acceptance of everything we are holding. So letting go is can be described as a simple and effective means by which to let go of the obstacles to enlightenment and become free of negativity. Like Buffalo just ran away from the person holding back. Your emotion, once you let go, it will just run away from you and you are free from that. So why is letting go important when we, when we understood our energy is like a container of energy? When we let go, energy space is created. In that new energy space, 
new opportunity comes up so learning to let go of your past and your past mistakes is one of the best things you can do for the future and your recovery as well and you may feel a personal release of tension once you truly begin to let go so let go makes room for the life you want to live in the future not the one you have left behind in addiction so what happens if you keep holding anger hate frustration or fear your energy space is having that information itself so it will attract more of that kind of result or experiences in your life to experience that more as we keep sharing our energy field is like a magnet based on whatever information you have in your energy field you start attracting that kind of information in your life so when you have anger information in your system for example you are bound to attract the situations where you can express more of anger your system themselves your system itself wants to let go and for it to let go it wants to attract more opportunity so that it can express out the anger emotion and he'll try to let go but sometimes it gets more reverse and get more and more excessive in terms of emotional holding and expression that's why so that you do not attract more of health financial relationship problem you need to learn the art of letting go of past and empty up your space so let's take an example if a, uh, if you are not able to let go of some past child past trauma or childhood trauma let's take example of losing a job a sudden loss of job opportunity uh, you got fired or someone got fired all of a sudden and that past memory is stuck still stuck in the person's head it still haunts him feels the pain emotion frustration why did this happen to me entire lifetime the person keeps on regretting years together so it's easy to say just let go but it's really when it comes to practicality it's a little bit tough to let go of the big emotion if proper tools and systems are not followed so one of the most simplified ways you can let go of this big past emotion or trauma is breaking down it into small activities or experiences and letting go of this small small aspect of that situation as a person got fired from the job uh, that emotion or trauma is there the person can start letting go of uh, for example having lunch with their friends during the lunch time the person can let go working on the same desk the person can let go of going to the coffee place and filling up the coffee the person can let go of opening up the same files the person can let go feeling of using the same laptop for the future the person can let go the feeling of having conversation with their colleagues and boss during work or breaks so when the big job is made into small chunks of experiences collectively and that small chunks of experiences collectively one by one is addressed and let go the big chunk of emotion gets released and the person can feel a sense of freedom so here is what a challenge i would like to share with you remember any past emotion or trauma or situation you are not able to let go be it financial or relationship or some other aspect break it down into small slowly slowly remember that and have the intention i am letting go of this feeling just that itself will make you feel sense of some weight being removed from your system and you are feeling lighter relaxed and peaceful once you complete for one experience start remembering other experiences and start releasing out so that more ex- and em- empty space is created more of true potential start starts emerging out i hope this tips has been useful to you the if you want to learn more of power of letting go read the book letting go by dr david hawkins it's a wonderful brilliant book every page you read you will feel some release happening so thank you for tuning in this podcast and i truly wish you start letting go of the past have it like a clean slate and recreate your future with a fresh new steps thank you for tuning in looking forward to see you or hear from you in our social media channels and see you in the next podcast
Thank you.